What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your guns with Blue Estate. So let's go ahead and get the game started here. All right, and what you want to do for this game is you want to press the F5 key on your keyboard to bring up the configuration overlay. Remember that if you have a keyboard that has an FN key, a function key next to the control key on the bottom left of the keyboard, you have to hold that down before holding down F5. So I'm going to hold that down, press F5. And you can see you have some options here, pretty straightforward stuff. It says that F6 assign is to assign gun one, F7 is to assign gun two. So for example, you would hold down F6, again, holding FN first if you have an FN key. And then you point your gun at the screen, you squeeze the trigger, and it says light gun assigned. So now my player one light gun has the correct ID over there. For player two, you would do F7 and then it would assign uh, player two. Um, you have some other options like uh, toggle shoot for gesture. And what that is, I'm gonna show you while we're playing the game, um, what that is, okay? And then the other thing is enable or disable the light gun patch. Now, that is if you want to use a mouse. If you want to use a mouse for this game, you would want to disable the light gun patch before it'll let you use your actual mouse. So, because I already had this stuff configured, I don't have to do anything. Um, if you were configuring this yourselves after you assign your gun IDs for player one and two or change any other options, you would want to quit the game and restart it again. So I'm just going to press F5 to get rid of that overlay. And I'm just going to go ahead and go into story. I'm going to select two players and I'm going to select this first option here and click go. So now my two guns should be working. Don Luciano prized an eye for business above his son Tony's view of the world to the sights of his gun. He'd given him the nightclub to run to get him so you can see those very small dots there, blue and red. They get bigger when you actually start playing. So there you go, my two guns are playing. I'm just going to put one of them down for now. So the uh, shoot to uh, swipe thing that we talked about before, whatever it was called, basically this game normally to get past these arrow things like this, you have to actually move your gun in that direction like that. Um, but with that option, you can just shoot the, the screen and it'll simulate you doing that. So you don't actually have to make the movement. Now, one thing I've noticed is if you're playing two players, only player two can actually make those gestures. So you would have to do it with player two. See how I moved it to the right and then continued. But again, you know, you have the option. You want to play it like it was meant to be played originally, you can. If you don't, you can just squeeze the trigger when you see any of those arrows pop up on the screen. So I'm going to show you a little bit more here. Okay, and then one other thing I want to show you guys is how to duck. And that's going to be a little bit later in the game. So I don't want to, so here, I'm just going to shoot, see, and you know, I actually have to do the action. Um, so that's kind of, actually, you know what? It's coming up pretty soon. I'll just stick around and instead of skipping forward, I'll just go ahead and play through. All right, so here's the part. So in this part, you can actually duck. Oh, you know what? I'm doing two players right now, damn it. <laughs> All right, so when you're doing two players, it doesn't give you the option to duck. But normally, if you were playing one player here, it would show you like a little icon that you can duck. The trick there is instead of doing it quickly where you move your gun down like this off screen, you want to do it slowly. You kind of want to bring the cursor to the edge slowly like that, and then he'll duck. Now, sometimes you will get stuck behind this pole here, so you have to be careful with that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because it took me a while to figure out why it wasn't working because I was kind of doing it quickly like this. 
So again, just go down slowly to the edge like that, and then he'll duck just fine. But yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, guys, that's it. This is a pretty straightforward game. Um, just wanted to show you how to configure it. And other than that, you should be good to go. Now, as usual, on my systems, if you hold on the right button off screen for three seconds, it's going to kick you out. And we're back to hyperspin. All right, guys, that is going to be it. I'll see you guys on the next one.